Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying um, another wee jig nymph. This is just a, a sow scud dubbing nymph. Very effective. Um, very easy to tie. So, I'm tying a size, this in a size 14. 14 is quite a good size for your short line nymph. And, I find um, gives you a fair bit of if, you know it represents a fair amount of species, but it's also big enough. Um, it, like, it can easily be seen. The fish can pick it out, and they often will even if they're feeding on something smaller. So I've got a size fourteen jig hook in the vise there, and I've got a three point five mil tungsten bead, which you might think is a bit oversized, um, but the fish don't mind, and I would also tie this you know, um, with a, a couple of smaller beads. So we've got 3.5, uh, maybe a 2.8, or a 3, and a, a 2.5. That means you can fish the same pattern in a range of flow speeds and depths. Um, you know, like and don't have to be worrying about changing patterns and it's actually quite a good way to approach your nymph boxes you probably don't need a huge number of patterns um, but tie them in two or three sizes and two or three weights you could probably get away with 12 or 14 patterns and catch fish everywhere in the world so tail is um, cock de leon and I'm just going for a bit of shank length just catch this off Tie it down, the length of the shank, right, this helps give you a nice smooth body, helps you build the taper, and then take my rib, which is, this is a small silver wire, use DC wire, and I push it so that the, t the cut end goes in and sort of holds the tungsten bead forward, and then again I'll tie that in the length of the body. And as I approach the final third, I'll draw it towards myself and that helps me to get a wee bit better taper in the underbody. But, I mean, doesn't you don't really need to do this. So, I'm going to take my dubbing. This is a South Cud dubbing and it's light rainbow. It's a really nice colour, you know, you get reflex of blue and red and stuff in here. Just quite dub that on and build a nice tapered body. Don't want it too heavy. And I'll just take my excess away there. I'll leave it in the thread because it'll do the thorax. And then wind my rib forward. Four or five even turns. Come across the thread. I turn the front to lock it, and then just bend and break the wire away. Then you can come in with that extra wee bit of dub in there. And that does your thorax. Any fibres that you think are just a wee bit too long, just trim them away. And come in, four or five turn whip finish, and another, and that helps to build up a nice wee hot spot collar um, with the fluorescent orange thread. Trim away your waist, and then just come in with a bit of head cement. To protect those wraps. There you go. We so we so bug dubbing nymph. Tied in a jig hook. You don't need to tie in a jig hook. You can tie in a curved hook. Tie it on a straight hook if you like. Um, as I say, vary the bead size to change the weights. Tie them in a couple of different sizes. 
well worth a go um, if you if you do any sort of short line nymphing. So thanks very much for watching guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below, bye.